Recent data from the financial accounts of the United States showed that the quarter-on-quarter -quarter increase in total credit in the second quarter of 2023 was the weakest since Q1 2017 in dollar terms and the weakest since Q1 2015 in percentage terms. However, household wealth rebound sharply by $5.5 trillion during the quarter to a new record high of $154 trillion. This video will look at trends in credit growth and wealth creation and explain why those trends suggest the U.S. economy will soon fall into recession. First, wealth. This chart shows that household wealth hit a new record high of $154 trillion in the second quarter. Household wealth increased by $5.5 trillion during the quarter. That was the fifth largest increase in wealth ever recorded during one quarter. Rising wealth helps support the economy by boosting consumption, but the problem is that a significant part of that wealth may soon be destroyed. The wealth to income ratio shown here is currently 775%, far above its peak before the dot-com crash of 2000 when it was 615%, or the property bubble peak of 2008 when it was 670%, or its long-term average of 550% going back to 1950. This suggests a sharp fall in wealth is a real possibility over the coming months. Every time we hit earlier peaks, the dot-com bubble popped and asset prices fell sharply, it went back to the long-term average. The property bubble popped, asset prices fell sharply, and this ratio went back to the long-term average. At 575%, it is well above its previous peaks and therefore vulnerable to any sort of unpleasant surprises that may hit the economy. Now credit. Total credit in the U.S. climbed to $96 trillion in the second quarter and is on track to exceed $100 trillion sometime around the middle of next year. Total credit is equal to total debt. In other words, the combined debt of all the sectors of the economy. We'll look at those momentarily. But also note that there was a very large data revision in the second quarter that resulted in total first quarter credit being $762 billion larger than originally reported. For the details, see the appendix. 